Welcome back to another episode of the HC2 Resilience Challenge. This is Coach Danny, and today we are talking about day 24, Wednesday, April 15th. All right, guys. So uh, yesterday was definitely on the challenging side. It was quite long. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Today's workout is a little bit lengthy, um, but you should just kind of be moving steady through the whole thing, not going like with 100% intensity the entire time. So keep that in mind. For our warm up, we're gonna start three to four rounds. Um, bear crawl, 40 to 60 feet, five bird dogs per side, 10 towel or ring rows, plank with 10 shoulder taps, and then 20 jumping jacks. After that, no strength work today, um, just our Metcon learn to fly. So we have different one minute stations followed by one minute of rest for five total rounds. Now, minute one, we're going to be doing either a weighted pull-up if you're able. You can also do banded, band assisted pull-ups or ring rows um, if you have the ability to do those. If not, um, you can do pull-ups on rings if you have them. Otherwise, um, I'll be posting in True Coach two different variations of a floor pull-over that is going to give you a very similar effect as if you were doing a pull-up or a ring row. Um, so make sure to check the videos for those. Um, after that, you'll go into one minute of either power cleans, um, band resisted dumbbell deadlifts with a three second descent. So nice and slow on the way down and then fast and aggressive with a like a squeeze of the glute and an aggressive hip opening at the top. Um, and I'll explain those in just a second or sprinter lunges with a three second descent. So um, we've seen these sprinter lunges already. One on each side is going to be one rep if you're counting your reps. Um, and that's that. After that, we have one minute of box jumps or broad jumps. If you're doing broad jumps, you're going a certain distance, right? So for the males, we're looking for four feet. If um, you're going for kind of the performance variation of the workout or three feet for males, if you don't think that you can keep up with that four foot distance, that's totally okay. For the ladies, the performance variation is going to be three feet for each jump or two feet if you need to modify it, okay? Then we go into one minute of calorie row or those up-down kick-throughs, which is when we get into that bodybuilder position, we kick our leg through to one side, kick our leg through to the other side, stand up, jump, clap. And then after that, we have our one minute of rest. So this is total of one, two, three, four, five, um, 25 minutes total. All right, guys, um, let's talk about our coaching notes. Um, so basically, we want you guys all to pace this one so that you can get the max reps on each movement. Um, but think about the ones that you know you're particularly, particularly good at um, versus ones that you think, you know, might take you a little bit longer. Um, you want to kind of maximize on the things that you can move well and quickly at in order to get the best score. Um, if you're unfamiliar with any of the movements, make sure that you go nice and slow and that you're moving properly the whole time. Um, now for the floor pullovers, um, the video will be in there for you guys, but you can scale these by not going all the way out, but keeping your shoulders open as much as you're able to, right? But in the bottom of that pullover, so you're either kind of doing a floor slide with your hands and then coming back in, um, or you can lay on your back. And if you have something to hold in your hand, like a dumbbell um, or just any kind of weighted object, maybe a dog or a child, you can lay on your back and then extend your arms over your head and then back um, to facing kind of the ceiling from where you'd be laying, okay? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, for um, the band resistance deadlift, guys, you're gonna stand on top of the band and you're gonna hold one side in each hand. You're gonna have one dumbbell and you're gonna put it in one side and you're gonna perform a deadlift, right? Um, as if you're kind of like doing that hip hinge down towards the ground, make sure that your chest always stays above your hips though, right? And then you're going to stand and be really explosive on the way up. So nice and slow, three seconds on the way down and then think one second, really explosive as you finish the movement, all right? Um, if you need to, and you guys are, say, sharing equipment with a spouse or a family member, you can start at any different movement. Just make sure that you go in order and m make sure that the last minute of the round is always the rest, okay? Um, so if you start on power cleans, you'll end on those weighted pull-ups, and then you'll finish with a minute of rest, okay? 
um, if you're doing the dumbbell pull-ups make sure um, I like to hold it between my feet but you also have the option to hold it between your thighs um, just if you want to wrap it with something like a towel or a t-shirt or something like that so it doesn't kind of like dig into your legs that's perfectly acceptable now the goal for this workout is 150 to 300 reps about 40 to 50 reps per round so each um, round of those five minutes should be about 40 to 50 reps okay all right, guys, if you have questions, reach out to your coach and we'll see you tomorrow.